Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's <laughs> <laughs> good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Where well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the hottest, youngest fighter in the game. That killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, Javante Tank Davis, the three division world champion. And y'all know that boy is on a mission. Then we have um, Jake Paul, the hottest YouTube sensation boxer in the world right now. You know, him and Tank tr exchanging words. Tank said, Jake Paul better leave me the fuck alone. And Jake Paul said, you're just mad you're not tall enough to ride the rides at the amusement park. So Tank and Jake is going back and forth, right? And I'm going to tell Jake this, bro. Yeah, you good. You got you got some pop in you. But you better leave this young killer, this gorilla from Baltimore alone, homie. You better leave this young killer, this gorilla from Baltimore alone. You did. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. Tank a knock Jake Paul clean, smooth the fuck out. Tank a knock Jake Paul clean, smooth the fuck out. And I'm standing on my words. Now, we all know Javante Davis just came off a win over Mario Berrios, you know, in a, in a very um, exciting fight. We know Tank name is being linked to Keith Thurman, one time Thurman, which I don't know if it's for publicity or if they talking about putting Tank enough for real at 147. Now, Tank, you know, came out of his own mouth and said, I'm not Superman, so. With somebody like Keith Thurman, take like I ain't no fool. Not saying I can't beat him, but I'm not going to no 147 when I got other top fights and other challenges I can take on that'll give me more recognition to beat Keith Thurman, in my opinion and in Tank's opinion. Because Josh Taylor and Tiffimo Lopez give him way more credibility than beat Keith Thurman. Now, we got Jake Paul out here, right? He's trying to make his name in this boxing game. I think he 3-0 now in this boxing world. And now he's about to take on Tyron Woolley, right? Tyron Woolley is um, an MMA fighter. Uh, former welterweight world champion, one hell of a fighter out of my hometown, St. Louis, Missouri. I know Tyron Willie. We took a picture together, chopped it up on a couple of occasions. But Jake Paul is about to take on, you know, Tyron Willie. And, you know, he's feeling himself out here in these boxing streets. Jake Paul feel like he is um, on top of the world right now. He feel like he's getting better as a fighter. Um, he, he fucked with Canelo. He better leave alone because Canelo goes knock his little ass clean the fuck out and send him to the hospital. Very, 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 very... Um, put him in a bad position so you better stay away from Canelo you better stay away from Tank but nonetheless the kid do got power the kid can fight a little bit compared to you know when we talking about YouTubers but when we looking at Javante Tank Davis that killer that gorilla from Baltimore with the skill set he got and the way he punches and where he places punches at right Tank will beat the shit out of Jake Paul yeah yeah and I'm standing on them words right but Tank, you know, he letting Jake Paul know right now, you better leave me the fuck alone because this ain't what you want, homie. This ain't what you want. You better continue with MMA fighters. You better continue with um, YouTubers and things of that nature. But you better stay away from me. And you better quit playing with me because I ain't no Floyd Money Mayweather. I ain't no got your hat. I ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? I run around with real ones that's not going to play games. And it's just the fact of the matter. Y'all might not like it. Y'all might do like it. But at the end of the day, you better quit playing with Javante Davis. Like I said, that boy's a killer, a gorilla from Baltimore, Maryland. And we all know how Baltimore get down. If you're from the streets, if you know anything about this country of United States of America, and when you look at Baltimore, Maryland, you know what Baltimore is doing out here in these box, well, in these real streets. Not the boxing streets. I'm about to say the boxing, but in these real streets. And Tank got some real ones around him. Now, Jake Paul, right? He's a, the, the, the number one troller in the world. He's very entertaining. I like Jake Paul funny um but when it's time to get in that ring he do fight he do set his, his punches up and you got to give him some credit for some of his skills because like i say um hall of fame fighters like corey spinks future hall of fame fighters like corey spinks and zab judah say this kid can fight they say jay paul can fight he's just not in the ring doing anything the only thing his problem is he don't have no defense his offense is his defense corey spinks said out his own mouth he's not good enough to catch punches and roll with punches and things like that so whenever you get into the ring with somebody that can really box, they go outbox him. Or if you get into the ring with somebody that can really punch, they go really hurt him. But with him, he got skills. He can fight a little bit. He's he's sparring real boxing, real boxers, and he's holding his own inside the gym. And I give him that. But with 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 that, you know, comes um, a target on your back. 
a target put on your back. So right now, Jake Paul pulling in a lot of money. You know, um, he's selling a lot of pay-per-views. Some of the numbers are misleading, I will say that. But nonetheless, he's still pulling in money, bro. And when you look at him, like I said, entertaining, entertaining, and entertaining. And we all know entertainment sales, um, no matter what profession you're in. You can be in basketball, football, baseball, boxing, MMA. If you can entertain, it's going to sell. It's going to sell. People love to be happy. People love to laugh. People love to be entertained. And people will spend their money on great entertainment. And Jake Paul is an entertainer, bro. He is an entertainer. Do he go too far sometimes? Yes, he does. You feel me? Yes, he does. And sometimes that thing, I mean, sometimes going too far, um, it'll get you hurt. So you got to watch sometimes what you do and watch sometimes what you say. You feel me? Yes, you can have all the confidence in the world. I know grown men be feeling like, well, I can say what I want to say. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They can't do nothing to me. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to say what I want to say. That testosterone is in a man that make them feel so macho, macho, macho. Right? Until you get put in your place. Until you get put in your place. And sometimes you can go too far that you don't know what's going to happen to the extent. So you can, like I say, you can get hurt out here, man. You can get hurt. Now, you do live in good places. You do travel with security. Things of that nature. But sometimes things can go too far. And sometimes you can press some buttons that, you know, you can make a motherfucker snap out. You feel me? You can make somebody snap out. Now, it should stay on the internet. It should stay, you know, just words and things of that nature. And, you know, Jake Paul, he's trying to build up this fight with him and Tyron Willie. But at the same time, he's entertaining. And, you know, he's trying to keep himself relevant around the world to where people can see him. And, you know, he can make some big noise out here. So when I'm looking at Jake Paul, I understand what he's doing. I understand the kid. I really do. I really do. You feel like you're on top of the world. You feel like you're buzzing right now. You're taking advantage of that thing, and, and that's what you're supposed to do. If you put yourself in position to be in position, you're supposed to take advantage of it. And you are taking advantage of it, and you're doing the right things. But sometimes, just sometimes, you have to hold back. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hold on, let me not do this and let me not do that. We all seen what Logan Paul said when he snatched Floyd's head off his head. Like, what the fuck he do that for? Like, man, he's going to get me hurt. You know what I'm saying? And Logan Paul was going around getting restraining orders, uh, fearing for his brother's safety, fearing for his safety, not knowing if somebody's going to come after him and, and, and um, Jake. You know what I mean? He's just, you never know, bro. You never know. Like, Jake Paul, I mean, sorry, Logan Paul understand that, you know, sometimes these dudes be dead ass serious, and sometimes these dudes will send somebody at you that can hurt you, you know? Now, we young, we living our life, we in this boxing game, we making a lot of money, we rich as fuck, right? We got something going that's buzzing, 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 but we don't want to fuck that up and get too serious and say the wrong thing. And Jake ass ain't got no filter, or Jake ass ain't got no cool. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no cool. Um, we were seeing what he did with Floyd Money Mayweather when he came out with the, uh, with the, with the damn porn for Floyd, snatched his head off his head, just trolling the shit out of Floyd, and eventually I think Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather is going to fight. If Jake Paul beat Tyron Willie, he's going to fight Floyd Mayweather. Floyd's going to fight him so he can beat both of the brothers. And I think Floyd's going to want to hurt Jake worse than he wanted to hurt um, Logan because they got a little history. You know what I'm saying? They got a little history. And Floyd tried to use the race card on Jake. Uh huh. I'm not letting you slide with that. I'm not letting you slide with that. Jake Paul is not racist at all. He's not racist at all. You know what I'm saying? In fact, he embraced the black culture. You know what I'm saying? He embraced the black culture. I know people going to be like, well, man, you know, they say he's still in the culture this, that. Listen, man, he embraced the black culture. You know what I'm saying? So, Floyd, you the one that said all lives matter, stick to that. Don't try to use the race card now. I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. But I think Floyd will fight Jake Paul. I think Floyd will beat the shit out of Jake Paul. You understand me? I think he'll beat the shit out of Jake Paul. But Jake Paul might get some licks in on Floyd. Floyd's an old man now. You now I'm saying? If Logan touched him, Jake can touch him. Even though Logan is a big 200-some pound motherfucker, I think Logan, um, Jake, I mean, sorry, Logan. Yeah, Logan is a big 200 pound some dude. And Jake, you know, he's like 160 some 170 if I'm not mistaken. But he's a big dude himself. And he's going to try to bring it to Floyd like his brother did, just trying to bring it and be all crazy, trying to land that big-ass shot. But he's going to find out quick that Floyd Mayweather is something different. Just like he had found out quick that Javante Tank Davis is something different. You know what I mean? There's levels to this boxing game. There's levels to this boxing game. And you fucking with Javante Davis, I feel like that's bad for Jake Paul health. You know what I mean? I know some people look at it like, man, Jake a big-ass dude, man. Tank can't do this. Tank can't do that. I'm telling you, the way boxers um, place their punches, the way they know how to throw, the way they know how to make you miss and make you pay, Tank will hurt Jake Paul. Tank will hurt Jake Paul. You understand me? No head girl on either. 
Tank will hurt Jake Paul. Jake Paul will try to be physical and rough for Tank, but he'll have to catch him first. He'll have to catch him. Tank will go to the body, explode to the body, gas his ass out. Then I think Tank will stand right there and hurt that boy. Make him miss and make him pay because I think he got the skills to do that. He got the skills to do that. So Jake Paul came out, y'all. He's trolling Javante Davis. Javante Davis is not liking it. He telling him he better leave him the fuck alone. I think if they ever try to make this shit happen, which we know we got Tank fighting other fighters. I know a lot of people going to be out here, man, why you want to take the fight, Jake? Man, you need to fight T.O. You need to fight uh, Josh Taylor. You need to fight this fighter, that fighter. I'm not saying Javante Davis fit to fight him next. I'm just saying, down the stretch, this fight can happen. You know what I mean? Floyd love a lot of money. Tank love a lot of money. LB love a lot of money. People would be pissed off. And I know what the, how they'd be feeling, things of that nature. But it's the business ever, man. And if it make business, it makes sense. I repeat, it's the business era, and if it make business, it makes sense. And if Javante Davis got a chance to pull in upward to 30 to $40 million fighting Jake, um, Jake Paul, he's going to go for it. You understand me? He's going to go for it. And that's just how the game is, fam. But they trolling each other. Well, Jake Paul trolling Tank. Tank answering back. Let him know, leave me the fuck alone. We'll see how far this go, because Jake, yeah, I know he not to take shit to the stream. So he told the man he can't, uh, he's mad because he can't ride the, the, the rides at the amusement park. You know, so we'll see how it turn out. Jake Paul got a fight with Tyron Woodley. Good luck in that fight. I'm pulling for Woodley, but I do think Jake Paul can win that fight. Shouts out to my young man, Tank. You know, that boy's a killer, that gorilla from Baltimore. We'll see what this next fight will be. They talking about Keith Thurman. I don't think that's going to happen, but we will stay tuned just to see how it play out. Until then, it's your boy, Money. It's the NSBC moving. and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate, OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hampton 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.